Hi friends, thanks for coming to Circle Time. Let's see what we're gonna to do today. Okay, let's say it together. Today is Thursday, April 9th, 2020. Okay, let's count the days of the week. Are you ready? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Okay, let's say the days of the week. We're going to start with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so we start with three. You invite three friends over for tea. Zelda the zebra, Mimi the moose, and Zimi the zebra. Now, you're sitting there having tea, but suddenly, <clears throat> two more friends show up. We've got Millicent the monkey, and we've got the bear, and there's two. So now we have three, and we added two more friends. Now, how many friends is that going to equal? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. What is the answer? The answer is five. Five friends. Later, a few more friends come over and you decide to go for a swim. Now you've got Freddy the Frog, you've got Janice the Jellyfish, and Sidmund the Shark. And let's count how many friends you have now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. <clears throat> so now we've got eight friends. And you go swimming. But some of their parents come over and say, oh, it's time to go home. Uh, and we have one, two, three of your friends. They leave. Okay. That was three friends that left. So now we've got eight minus three. What is 8 minus 3? We took away 3 friends from our 8 friends. Let's count who's left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We now have 5 friends again. And they all swim happily ever after. And now we'll count. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten friends. Hi, it's time to read a story. Today, we're going to read Splat and the cool school trip. Okay, it says, It's Penguin Day, cried Splat, as he woke up from his favorite dream. Splat's class was going to the zoo, and Splat was too excited to sleep. Turn the page. Okay, I can't wait to see the penguins, said Splat. They 
have big round eyes and walk with a waddle. They're the best, he added. So Seymour nodded. Splat got ready for school. Oh, I'm gonna move around a little bit so you can see it better. Uh, Splat got ready for school. Did you know penguins love to swim? Asked Splat. Then Splat remembered something Miss Wimpy Dimple said. We can't come because mice are scared of elephants, said Splat. I am so sorry, Seymour. So Splat went to school, leaving a disappointed Seymour behind. Hmm. Uh, but Seymour wanted to go to the zoo, and he had a plan. school after splat and his class boarded the bus miss wimpy dimple asked a question which animal is your favorite the giraffe said plank he is really tall the monkey said kitten she's so cute the elephant said spike he's so strong Penguins, cried Splat. I can't wait to see the penguins. The bus rattled along the road. And soon arrived at the zoo. Let's go see the penguins first, cried Splat. Later, Splat, Miss Wimpy Dimple sighed. I can't wait, said Splat. Look, a giraffe, said Plank. He can reach the high branches. Look, a monkey, cried Kitten. She's so furry. Look at the elephant, said Spike. He's so strong. They're cool, said Splat, but they're not penguins. <laughs> Sorry, it's crooked. Spike looked up and pointed at something in the sky. Is it a bird, he asked? No, cried the cats. Is it a plane, he asked. Well, sort of, cried the cats. It's Seymour. Seymour waved, but then lost his balance and crashed into the elephant. Oh, no, cried Splat. Seymour stared at the elephant. The elephant stared at Seymour and then Mouse cries the elephant. Uh oh, says Splat. The elephant was so frightened he trumpeted and ran away and jumped over a wall. I guess Miss Wimpy Dimple was right, said Splat. Elephants are afraid of mice. class continued around the zoo until they finally arrived at the penguin pool. Hurrah! Cheered Splat. But Splat's hurrah didn't last long. A sign on the wall read, <clears throat> Due to an elephant breaking the pool, the penguins cannot come out today. Sorry. What? No penguins? says Splat. No, penguins, said Miss Wimpy Dimple. Everybody back to the bus. Splat was so disappointed. Sorry, I think I skipped a page. Okay, Seymour was dismayed. It was his fault that Splat couldn't see the penguins. So he thought about how they could make things right. 
He peeked into the penguin house without any water to swim in. All the penguins were huddled inside. Seymour had an idea. Hmm, follow me. And they did. The bus rattled back to cat school. Look where they are. Here, on top of the bus. <clears throat> Splat wandered home. He played with his dinner. Stared at the TV and then went to bed. But Splat couldn't sleep. He heard a splashing noise coming from the bathroom. It got louder. He decided to investigate. It says, blip, plop, splash. <clears throat> Something was moving behind the sh TV shower, or the, the shower curtain. He gulped. Splat pulled the shower curtain open, and to his amazement, penguins, he cried. See all the penguins? Wow, there's a lot, let's count them. I can get this book far enough back. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I think there are eighteen. It's Penguin Day after all. Splat was happy. The end. Okay, I hope you liked story time. And I'll talk to you later.